In this video, I would like to go over one of our advanced features called display criteria. Within your lists, if you go into lists and edit lists, you can open up any existing list you have or you can create a new one. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my audit. And within my audit, I'm gonna go into a sub list here for my exterior. So I'm just gonna scroll down and open that up here. As you're looking at my list, I want to point out a couple of things. I have yes or no items followed by a photo or followed by a free response box. The display criteria works off a number of different items. So let me show you. It works off of a yes or no item, your measurement, your ratings one through five, one through 10 and custom. So any of those five items based on how they're answered can trigger an additional item or additional items to display that need to then be completed. If you've watched the video on corrective action, this can be another form of corrective action, but instead of taking you into a corrective action list, it's going to display the items within the same list, or you can even display a sub list if you want. So let me show you how this works. Essentially in this example, I have created my yes or no items, which are my triggering questions. And then based on how they answer, I'll have a photo display or a free response. Let me show you what this looks like on the app. So here I'm going to go into my exterior and as you can see, all you're seeing are these yes or no questions. You're not seeing the photo items or the free response. Depending on how you answer, they'll show up. So if I answer yes, the parking lot's clear, it looks great, but maybe it's not. If I answer no, it's then going to pop up this item. Same here, are the doors, ledges, are they all in good repair? No, it's gonna prompt for a photo. Now I like to make those items stand out. So I change the background color so it pops, making it very visual that, hey, this needs to be addressed or there's a new item. So it catches your attention. You can have any item display based off of any of those five items I mentioned earlier. To build that, you'll essentially need to create your entire flow. Every item that you're gonna want, whether it's displayed or not, once you've created all of your items, whichever items will be displayed based on another item, you're gonna to go to that particular item. Here you'll see the display criteria, and then you have your item here. When you select the drop down, it's gonna show you every item that can be used. So which items of those yes or no or measurement or rating items are available. Once you select the item, then it will prompt you for the value. So if this question is answered no, then this item is going to display. Now, if I want it to say yes, I want to take a picture when it looks great, let's do it. Then you can change that to yes. Now this is based off a yes or no item. Let's come down to our rating. This will be very similar whether you're using a rating item or a measurement item because they're all a part of the numeric items. So when we come to this bottom item, here again, you're selecting which item you're displaying based off the answer, and that's the overall rating. And then you have an operator you're gonna select from. So in this scenario, is it greater or less than, greater than or less than equal to, or equal to. So basically you're selecting at what point do you want this to display? Is the number bigger than two? Is it less than two? Are you including two or does it have to equal two? Which then would make this item display. So let's come to the app and let's scroll all the way down. So if I give this an overall rating of two, that item now displays. Once I enter in three, it's removed. So based on how this is set, any number that is less than two or equal to two, it's going to display. And again, this works on any of those numeric values, your measurement item or the three rating items. And then again, off of your yes or no. As you're building out your list, if you're using a lot of conditional display items, I highly recommend you save as you go and save frequently. So make sure as you're building this out, if you're adding in lots of conditional display, you're making lots of changes, as you're building it, have a few of them updated and then save it. And then what I like to do is come over to the app and I like to pull up the list manually using that plus button and play with it. I wanna make sure it's flowing how I like it too. Anytime you're testing a list, you'll wanna make sure that after you've saved the list, when you come back to your app, you're gonna either come to the drop down here and select the sync now option or you're gonna click on the Jolt logo here. And when you click on that, it'll actually show you that it's syncing down. 
Once you've synced, then you can come to that plus button and it'll pull up a fresh copy of your latest list with those new updates. Now, if an item is set to display conditionally, when you're looking at the reports, those items, if they do not display, will be marked as non-applicable. So it doesn't hurt or help them. The items are not included in the total count. It will increase the count of the tasks or items within the list, but if those items don't display, they're null and they don't count towards the completion rate. And that's the basics on using display criteria.